Hello everyone and welcome to my Glacier's Guide using Momentum. In this guide I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Glacier's the relaxed and easy way. You will not have to spam abilities for hours and you can still be rather effective depending on what gear and levels you have. Um, during this guide I will showcase the best gear and levels um, made available to a person of rather medium wealth. I'm not going to be using the absolute max gear in the game but gear that all really high level players should be able to afford. What to expect while using this setup is 63 kills per hour using the method that I am using, which means it will take 16 hours on average to gather 100 shards of armadillo. The experience rates are very good. You can expect either 300,000 magic or defense XP per hour, 100,000 hit points XP per hour, and 76,000 summoning XP per hour from the blue and crimson charms that you gather. This totals to 476,000 total XP per hour, and the cash per hour is 2 mil to 4 mil depending on your boot drops. We'll now go into the part of the video where I'm going to show you guys what setup you use and how exactly you want to get to Glacier's and how to kill them as well. So the setup that you're going to want to bring, I choose myself to bring um, subjugation robes. They're pretty good. You can also wear Gano if you cannot afford subjugation because it is pretty expensive at the moment. I realize not everyone has a max cape, but if you could bring a skill cape that has a pretty decent armor bonus as well, um, you're going to want to have a pretty decent armor bonus. That's why I'd probably recommend Gano over subjugation. But just because of my stats and the gear that I'm bringing, I can survive pretty well with subjugation, and it gives a damage bonus as well, so that's why I choose to bring it. Um, I also have an arms hood. Uh, that works fairly well. Also, a subjugation hood um, can work as well. A chaotic staff. I would not recommend doing this with anything less than a staff of light, because otherwise, with momentum, it's just not going to go too well. Um, I choose to wear an amulet of glory, because prayer bonus is really important here. Um, so that's why I bring it, just because it gives a little bit of prayer bonus. Um, Ganoderbic gloves are a very cheap alternative. Uh, I choose to wear get Dragon Rider boots because they give good defense against both magic and range. Um, however, just any kind of magic boots such as uh, Ganodermic boots uh, would be great. So bring all those things um, and make sure that you have runes for the best fire spell that you can use. Um, of course, if you have the Staff of Light at least, which is the minimum, I would recommend that you can use the Fire Wave spell. Um, and if you have 95 magic or above, then you can use the Fire Surge. What your inventory is going to look like is I choose to bring two overloads and two prayer renewals because you really want to have a unicorn stallion familiar with you. Um, it does help a lot more than really any other familiar. Um, also in your inventory, you have plenty of super restores because we're going to be using both torment and soul split and they drain your prayer very fast. Um, and of course, a few, few healing aura scrolls for your unicorn and a few emergency food um, just be, in case the need arises from it. And once you have all your gear and items, uh, if you need to, you know, rewind the video and look at exactly what I went over again just to make sure you're um, ready, then go ahead and do that. Um, and then you want to go to the Glacier Cave. I'm assuming if you looked up this guide, you probably already know that the quest ritual of the Majera is required to kill the Glacier's. Um, so I assume that you probably have that done. But anyway, uh, you just want to make sure your momentum is activated, and then you want to overload. Um, of course, if you bring, brought any auras, such as the Penance Aura, you want to activate that one. Uh, make sure your Quick cur Curses are selected on Soul Split and tur Torment. Um, and then just go ahead and go on the Glacier's and you hit very, very hard with um, Fire Surge. It absolutely tears through the Glacier's. There's no need to use abilities because um, if you're like me and you really tire of using abilities for long periods of time and you wanted a boss where you can just relax and still gain pretty good uh, rewards from it, this would definitely be the boss for you. Um, the XP is so good and then on top of that, if you get lucky with the boot drops, you can make a fair amount of money as well. Um, but anyways, just kill the Glacier's. Uh, you want to attack the Enduring one first uh, as it pops out of the Glacier, and then kill the Sapping one. Uh, you want to attack the Enduring one because it is not aggressive. Um, just lure it over to you. Kill the Sapping one first, kill the Enduring one second, kill the Unstable one last. Um, and as soon as the Unstable Glacier is dead, you attack the Glacier again. It is very simple, very straightforward. Um, anyway, I would highly recommend this to anyone that does not enjoy using abilities very much, but still wants a way to PVM. Um, this is probably one of the best bosses to go to. Also, it's just so effective with the XP that you gain, uh, the defense or magic, as well as the summoning, because you get a ton of charms here. But anyway, um, I wish you good luck uh, on your boot drops and on making your Staff of Armadillo. And before the video ends, I just wanted to show you guys the rewards. Um, at the moment, these are the main items that are sought after at Glacier's for the cash reasons and not for the XP reasons. 
The Armadillo Battle Staff, which at the moment is 11.9 mil and dropping fast, so do not be surprised if that, ch if that price in the future is lower or possibly even higher if these glaciers get updated. Um, also, the Steadfast Rage, Fire, and Glaven boots, uh, those are their prices at the moment. Um, I expect them only to drop only just because glaciers are so easy and they seem to be getting more and more popular. However, the regular drops are not going to change because there are mostly alkable items and runes and, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So you can get about 250 to 400k per hour just from their regular drops, and you can also get 60 blue and crimson charms per hour on average, which is really good. So anyway, this concludes my guide. Um, I would not be surprised if the items drop in price from the glaciers just because there's so many people there. Uh, I kind of wish that didn't happen, but that's just the way the economy works. Even with the lower prices of boots and armadillo battle staff, it is still fairly decent money considering how little effort this is, and the XP is just so good it's hard to turn down. Anyway guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching my guide. Feel free to check out my channel for lots of other guides. Good luck with Glaciers, and farewell.